tricked at thinking that we end up having some time. So uh, I just hope that the 66 members uh, who, who are chosen um, will reflect the views of the nation and that one of them is at least in Donegal. Uh, Thank you very much, and Minister. I too would like to welcome you to the House, and I do welcome this bill. Um, I think it is an important bill. Um, I was very disappointed this morning that we didn't get an opportunity to debate uh, the resolution to establish the Constitutional Convention, um, and uh, I was extremely frustrated, but I've issued a statement to outline what I would have said on that occasion. Um, I don't have a difficulty uh, with the, us uh, using this method uh, to select 66 me members. In fact, I would have no difficulty with us selecting all 100 members, and I would like to put that on the record. Um, I am not convinced about the role of Oireachtas members on the Constitutional Convention, because I actually think we have plenty of opportunities, we have a platform, and uh, we will be able to look at the recommendations of the Convention. Um, so. I I must say, I think it's important. I, I understand the motivation behind what Senator Barrett has said on comments on pri privacy, but it's the practicalities. And I think perhaps maybe the Convention needs to devise some working methods about communication with members directly, unsolicited communications, whether they need to be coming, um, e even if it's a standard or code of good practice uh, for the Convention to have a look at. Because for me, um, you know, Senator Mooney has said that a lot of the questions are yes, no questions. I, I think they will be much more than yes, no questions. Even if we look at the voting age, um, I would have liked to see the convention looking at reducing it to 16. Um, up to 1973, the voting age was 21. Uh, we reduced it by three years then. Um, so I, I do think... The convention. I, I don't know if you need a convention, but the fact that it is on the list of the convention, I think it is very important uh, part of uh, the UN Convention on the Rights of the Child is about the evolving responsibility of children and their voices. Uh, so I think the example you gave about the army, it's not like but like. It is about the voice of children, ensuring that they, they would have a voice. Um, so I do would encourage uh, that as much is done within the Convention in the public eye to allow members of the public who are not members of the Convention to follow the journey, the discussion, the awareness raising of the Convention. And uh, we saw this, I very much tracked the work of the Constitutional uh, Committee on the Amendment on, on, on Children um, and they, they did a me a very good work but in my opinion, and I have said this previously, uh, too much of the work was in private session, which didn't allow other people to come on the journey. Um, and equally, they didn't bring in people who necessarily did not support strengthening the rights of children, that we could hear those voices and give them a view. And I, I hope this convention will give everybody a viewpoint. I do think it was a missed opportunity for us to correct some of the flaws in the wording of the convention, uh, the resolution this morning. Uh, for example, the resolution said provision for same-sex marriage, when in fact it should say provision for marriage for same-sex couples. Um, so I actually think the, the resolution was actually flawed that we voted on this morning, but that, that, that's democracy of, of what happened in this House, or maybe not democracy, depending on which side of the House you were at. Um, so I do welcome the bill. I think it's good that we are using the electorate re register. I think it's important that we get as wide membership as possible, um, and I would have had no difficulty to have uh, 100 members coming from the members of the public, because I think sometimes... Um, Maybe we have to listen to other people, allow that process to happen. We have plenty of opportunities here to have our voices heard. Um, and I would have liked to see a, a wider convention. Thank you. Uh, Senator Bradford. I welcome the Minister to the House, but perhaps I'll take the road less travelled in relation to the legislation and the constitutional